Hello, I'm Emerson, and this is part four to my guide to building a great contraption. In this section, we'll be covering teamwork and fine tuning. So teamwork is by far, by far the most important aspect of this competition. This is what you're going to get most out of this. It, it's essential. You have to work as a team. That is the most important thing. I cannot emphasize it enough you need to work as a team to do well in this. It doesn't matter if you have number one and two and three and four in your class or the top ten engineers in the entire school working on this. If you can't work together, nothing is going to get done. However, I have some steps for you to work together as a team. So, first step is to get to know each other. Ask questions, go around, shake everybody's hand, I don't know. Get to know each other, you know, start knowing what people are like, what their strengths and weaknesses are. Which leads us to the next part, learn everybody's special talented talents. Everybody is talented in an area, or more, at least one. Um, some people are, people are better at designing, some people are better at building, some people are better at painting, or both. Um, Michael Pulaski is a fantastic builder, designer, and painter. He's our re resident artist, and he's painted a lot of the murals on our machine. Um, another important thing is to delegate specific steps to specific people if they're proving problematic. And that is a mouthful, but it's really important. Um, what I'm saying is that if you have a complicated step that just is not working well, or it doesn't have to be complicated, just a step that is not working well, you you've spent an entire day on it and it's still not working, say, hey, you, person, you work on that until it's done. Don't work on anything else until that step is done. And that works really well, actually, because um, when somebody has... One person can concentrate on their own on one step, it gets done pretty fast. Um, for example, in my first year, Andrew Lingenfelter, uh, got assigned the step of a uh, a piston, a hydraulic piston that pushed water up into a tube, and uh, me and a teammate could not get it working for anything. We could not get it working, and we said, "Hey, Andrew, go work on that step, please." Yeah, say please. It's a, it'll go a long way. But go work on that step, please, and. Don't do anything else until it's done. Because he had thought of the step, so it was only fair that he be the one to work on that. And he did. He worked on it for like a day and got it done. And he was the only person that would work on that step from then on. Whenever it was having problems, we say, Okay, Andrew, you go work on that. Because the person who works on that knows that step inside and out. And you can always go to them for help when it's not performing as it should. Another good idea is to not be bossy and not to argue. Listen to everybody's ideas. You don't want to have that one guy who bosses everybody around and doesn't listen to anybody uh, anybody's ideas unless they're his own. Um, don't be that person. It just never works out. Listen to everybody. Um, a lot of people that have great ideas don't really talk that much, um, or they don't think that they're ideas are good enough so everybody should be saying all of the ideas that they have because an idea that seems really bad to somebody might actually be really good and you don't know this unless everybody speaks it out um, don't have that one team leader that everybody goes to to get approved to have no team leaders have an a, uh, a group have a little group, like four or five, six people who run it as a whole, and they do the bulk of the decisions, but don't have the one or two people run the entire thing, because if one, if the machine is run by one person, it's just not going to work out very well. Um, and another really important thing is to have fun with this. Drink some Coke or Pepsi, have some snacks. Um, have pretzels, have popcorn, make it a good time. Uh, everybody works better with music and food and a nice atmosphere. I mean, 
you probably know from your experiences that if you get stuffed in a classroom full of, I don't know, snotty teenagers, and then you get the chance to go into a lounge room with popcorn and fountain drinks and lounge chairs, and you get to work there, it's pretty obvious which one you would prefer. Now you won't have lawn, uh, lawn, lounge chairs in a shop, but you can have the food and drink, and it really improves the atmosphere. Uh, next is fine-tuning. So you need to leave time to make adjustments, or you're not going to succeed very... You're not, you're not going to go very far. The reason is because, well, partially, after you paint the machine, everything's going to change, and it sucks, but you have to paint your machine because it just won't look good without it. So fine-tuning. You need to leave time to make adjustments because everything is going to go out of whack over time. It just happens. You'll be running the machine one day and be perfectly fine. Then the next, it's not. It just, something's going to happen that you're not going to foresee and you're going to have a lot of problems. So you got to leave like a week or two in advance before the competition where you're, you're completely finished and you've done your painting, you're completely done, and all you have to do is keep running the machine, just run it over and over and over again, trying to iron out all the weak spots and steps and see if anything is going to wear out because we actually had that problem this year is that one of the pieces of balsa, balsa wood that we were using um, in a marble machine uh, was wearing out because the balls had gone over it literally thousands of times and it was wearing out and throwing everything out of whack. So you might have that problem too, you might have things that wear out. It happens, you just gotta leave time to adjust for it. And yes, so the goal of this presentation is not for you guys to follow every single step word by word. It's just to set you guys on the right track. We think that you have a lot of potential and we don't want you to waste it by arguing in a team, whatever reason it may be. It could not it might not happen. You guys could be good already, but we want you to do well. And I hope this has helped you. I've been Emerson. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out. I'll see you later.